I do want to hear your your perfect. I'm told perfect Liza Minnelli. Yes, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. <laughs> and my father was a director. God, I loved him. And my mother, lots of pills. What did, I think someone said one time, they're like, I'll never forget the first thing that my mother said to me. She said, Liza, call an ambulance. <laughs> stupid. It, it always seems like half the stuff she's saying is to herself. Yes. Right? You just have to interview, interview me. Just ask questions because she's so. Do you, uh, I, uh, Hemda saw one of your shows recently. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. God. Do you still, do you, do you still have the pizzazz and all that jazz? You know what I mean? Or do you have to sit and rest during the show? You're, you're of a certain age. Again. Yeah. Every day I wake up. And I still practice singing and dancing with Luigi, and I've been with him for 35 years. I love him. Right. God, I love him. You, does it get- and I dance. <laughs> right. With bazaars. Bazaars. And also, yeah. bazaars. <laughs> I think that was a real quote. You know what? Who, can, who needs Al Pacino anymore? Everybody's doing Al Pacino. I know. And it's so one? stupid. I'm doing Liza Christopher, Minnelli. Christopher Walken. Oh, let's hear more Liza Minnelli in this world. I think Jennifer Coolidge is the gay man's Christopher Walken. This is, this is, who's that? Jennifer Coolidge? Yeah. We both love soup. We could talk or not talk forever. And we'd still have nothing to talk about. You know, from Best in Show? I do know. See, this is how good you are. I'm being serious. I, I don't care about Jennifer Coolidge <laughs> or Liza Minnelli, but I'm like, that, that's them. Yeah. That's Jennifer, but I feel like every straight guy does the the Christopher Walken right, impression, yeah. but every gay guy will do Jennifer Coolidge impression. I said, maybe that's why they don't like you in the club. Yes. they're like, I, we all do. I just did a Jennifer Coolidge and a Liza Minnelli together. Um, <laughs> that was Jennifer doing Liza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your head explodes. Hey, all your listeners are going to be like, who the fuck is this guy? I hate him for a thousand reasons, yeah, okay, so well, I apologize. Cat, here, we'll win him back. Catherine Hepburn. Oh, my God. So, Catherine Hepburn, backstory. She was interviewed in the 1970s on 60 Minutes, and they asked her. This is a serious thing that she said. They asked her about getting older. You know, they're like, so you're getting old. She's very Liza, kind of, in her cadence right. and the way she talks. But they were asking about getting older, and she's like, I don't see the point in getting older and then just ship us off. I think getting older, it's a miserable way to live for many people. They're like, well, what are we supposed to do with all these old people? Shoot them. <laughs> I mean, shoot him. She said that. She said to shoot them. She does, does she know she's old? I, I'm not paying $60 for a meal. You give me $60, I'll make you a meal right here, right now. I have a piece of ham and cheese I bring with me all day. She rides her bike through Greenwich Village yelling and flicking off cab drivers. They show it. It's great. It's, this, is, this is in the 70s, he's saying. This so is the she 70s. wasn't old. Right, I see. Uh, she was still old. She, along with B. Arthur, has always been 72. Right. Well, you know what? Actually, she, it's, it's odd seeing these people get so old. She was the it girl when she was young. She, she was, was beautiful till she died, though. You know what I mean? I know She's that's always cute been to say. But... No, I really think so. Listen, look, I'm going to look like that in about three years, okay? So give me, <laughs> give mean, me a break. I mean, who's what's that movie, Romancing the Stone? Michael Douglas and is it Kathleen Turner? She looks like a monster now, and she was beautiful. Nobody believes me. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's weird seeing these people get older. And then, I mean, soon, on a regular basis, celebrities we grew up with are going to start dying. That's going to be weird. The thing is with these movie stars and, and with a lot of famous people is you see them for a very long time or – not even for a concentrated amount of time, not a long time, concentrated amount of time, then a lot of times they disappear and they come back, if they come back, 20 years, with 20 years of age on them. So you didn't see the, the progression. Slow progression. Right. Yeah. So if we did see it very quickly with Lindsay Lohan, though. Yeah. You know oh what I mean? God. She went from 16 to about early hundreds. And then it was like, <laughs> what the fuck happened to her? That's true. Her puffy face. Geekandthegirl.com.